The following is a Hoop Bowl presentation. Hello and welcome to the Box Score Breakdown Show presented by Hoop Ball. My name is Adrian Benjamins and I'm joined by Neil Rochelani. And this episode is brought to you by Hawaiian Isles Kona Coffee Company. Taste the Kona difference. Head over to hawaiianisles.com and Amazon and get some delicious coffee from Hawaii. Neil, how are you doing, sir? We recorded a great show last night, but we lost it. So our apologies to you guys for not having a show yesterday. Uh, we actually, believe me when I, it was the greatest show we've ever done ever in the history of the show, huh, Neil? And you guys missed it. I know, I know the recording was just, it was like all, not all static, but like 90%, I don't know. It was a lot of static. And then like, even sometimes no voices were picked up and it was just static. I felt like maybe like a <laughs> ghost like entered the, um, <laughs> the recording. I don't know what happened. I've been recording this show since uh, since we started, and I've never had a recording like that. So I have no idea what happened. I just tested our recording beforehand, so we should be okay, God willing. So I don't know what happened yesterday. But, yes, it was the best show we ever did. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, I all season long have had the worst computer issues. I can't even record a show from my side because – I don't even know what is going on. And, you know, I'm not technical when it comes to computers or when it comes to electronics. So I don't even know how to fix the issues that I'm having, Neil. Like, I am tempted to just buy a brand new computer, which is ridiculous, right? Uh, but I'm telling you, man, I don't know what's going on on my side. So good chance that whatever you're dealing with could possibly be coming from my side so yeah we'll find out um anyway <laughs> anyway let's just keep going with this and cross our fingers and hopefully we'll be back on track um all right let's get to the uh i mean anything else before we get started i got nothing all right i've got news we've got news do we have news i should say no we do you got news i don't have news uh i don't have news i don't have news either all right, so let's go <laughs> on to the games. Um, all right, I think it's – I don't know whose turn it is to start. I think it's my turn. Um, well, I did last night, but oh, we that's didn't right. record it, so I don't know. <laughs> Do you want to count that or I think Let's count that. I mean, you put the effort in. All right. <laughs> the thing is, we had, we had like an hour-plus show last night. That was just so frustrating. <laughs> anyway, all right, um, let's just jump into the box scores since this is the box score breakdown show a hoop ball presentation. All right. Um, starting off here with Atlanta versus Miami. Atlanta has actually a strong showing coming off a of back to back, I believe. Um, played Chicago the night before. 113, 114. They do fall, though. Uh, on the Atlanta side, let's see here. Um, we know Trey Young is uh, on his way to superstardom tonight. A decent line 14 points, three rebounds, eight assists on four of 11 shooting. Had a steal uh, after he was ejected last game out. Um, so they're missing a lot of big men here in Atlanta. So they got Alex Len filling in. Tonight just played 21 minutes. I thought he may, might be worth streaming. The other night, Adrian hit five three-pointers. Tonight, he did not make a single shot from the field. 0 for 6 from the field. Two points, four rebounds, two assists. 0 of 6. 2 of 2 from the line. No defensive stats. So complete dud after a breakout game last time. I still think if you want to stream him, as long as Collins is out and Spellman's out and Prince as well, he could get decent usage tonight. Did not um, produce at all. Deadman, solid line here, 14, 6, and 2. Baysmore back in the starting lineup with Prince out. Stream him if you can, if you can pick him up. So that changes. 18 points tonight, five, uh, seven rebounds, three assists, two three pointers. Um, Kevin Herter having a decent night here, five of ten shooting, including three of eight from three point land. So not a bad night. Thirteen points overall, three rebounds, two assists. Uh, a lot of injuries here. I thought Bembry might see a decent run with this, but does not do much in twenty three minutes. So he's completely off my radar at this point. Herter is back on it, but I'm not picking him up anywhere. Um, you have any thoughts on the Hawks? I'm really hoping that we see uh, Turian Prince, who's out, 
due to a personal issue and John Collins, who I think has the flu. So I'm hoping we see these two guys back soon. So I'm trying not to take too much from this, uh, this line here, because I think when those two uh, high usage starter guys get back into the mix here, it's, we're going to see completely different rotations. So not going to take too much from this. Um, yeah, that's all I got. I'm going to move over to the Miami Heat side. I'll start with Winslow has been his, he's been good. Uh, this is a nice game from him. He had 18 points, three steals, three assists, five rebounds. He shot an efficient eight of 12 from the field, one three, one and two from the line. That's a good game from him. Josh Richardson with a nice game as well. He had 19 points, a steal, a block, five assists, five rebounds with two threes. He was eight of 15 from the field, perfect one of one from the line. Deion Waiters had 14 points, three steals, a block, two assists, three rebounds. He shot five of nine, he, uh, one three. He was three of four from the line. Did have five turnovers, but still an okay line from him. Kelly Olenek has been rolling, and uh, this one feels somewhat of a letdown. Only 12 points, one assist, five rebounds. He had two threes. Uh, maybe had some foul trouble as well. Had 5,000 just 24 minutes, but still a decent line from him. Uh, Bam Adebayo getting the start. Uh, you know, had foul trouble as well. Had 5,000 just 20 minutes, but still had nine points, three assists, six rebounds. Um, off the bench, they got a nice game from Dwayne Wade, who's who's been playing pretty decently lately. And, you know, even though he's coming off the bench, still getting nice minutes. Uh, took 17 shots, had 23 points, two blocks, five assists, and two rebounds. Uh, not much else to talk about. Whiteside, uh, Neil, I don't know if, uh, I don't know, is he just working his way back? Is this his role now? I don't know really what's going on with Whiteside. So uh, if you have him, just sit tight and hope. hopefully he gets moved to the starting lineup soon. Uh, no Drogic in this game as well. So we'll likely see him back pretty soon. Uh, Neil, what do you think of the Heat? Yeah, Whiteside's the biggest mystery here. Just 15 minutes tonight. Um, he is getting some rest games here and there. I think if you need his stats that you can hold on to him, which is basically rebounds and blocks, um, field goal percentage. Other than that, I think he's okay to move on from just because it's so untrustworthy at this point. Uh, speaking of Olenek, I finally picked him up in one of my leagues. He has been on fire uh, tonight, like you said. Not a great night, but he is around 80th over the last month and inside the top 50 over the last two weeks. So I think he is going to continue to produce at a pretty strong rate, somewhere between those two numbers, I, I would suspect. Um, I believe his minutes will come up. I know Derek Jones Jr. is back, but I still think Olenek is going to get um, high 20 minutes, which should be good enough for him. Um, and Adebayo should be can be streamed but um he still has had some up and down moments so do not expect i would not expect much more than top 100 value from him even in a starting role all right um second game i've got here brooklyn against dallas the mavericks just get crushed here 127 to 88 uh you know i watched some of this game adrian and i i, I know this is going to be a bad bad thing to say but I was watching some of this game, and I know they were out of it, but it was just like every time they came down, they just like passes to Dirk to take a three. And it was like, I don't like it when players just, they just force feed someone. I know it's like his kind of goodbye tour, but it's just, there wasn't any rhythm to the offense. It wasn't even like um, the natural flow of the game. It was just like passes to Dirk and let him shoot. So... Anyway, uh, speaking of Dirk, he played 19 minutes, four points, four rebounds, two assists, um, two of 13 shooting over some three-point land. Ugly game here. Uh, Dwight Powell is a big, big story out of Dallas. Tonight, um, he has continued to get over 30 minutes a game, and when he gets that many minutes, he is too hard not to play. 20 points, six rebounds, six assists, five three-pointers, uh, six of seven from the field. Um, no defensive stats tonight, but otherwise a very strong game. Uh, Doncic, uh, kind of one of his quieter nights tonight. Not much else from these Mavericks. Um, Hardaway, kind of a, a disappointing night. It's really just pick up Powell if he's still out there. Do you have any thoughts on Dallas? 
Yeah, I agree with you, man. Not a great night from Dallas, but the one guy that I think did look impressive, and I got to catch just a little bit of this game, and I liked what I saw. Dwight Powell, man, he looks uh, like he is set to really make a strong run here for rest of season. 20 points, six assists, six rebounds, five of six from three-point range. Neil, I didn't even know this guy could sh- could – um shoot three pointers well so this is outstanding so uh i really like what i'm seeing from him make sure he's rostered in all your leagues i'm sure he's already been picked up pretty much everywhere but just in case might want to double check he's not sitting out there and uh that's all i got from the mavericks gonna jump over on the brooklyn net side and you know pretty interesting neil they moved karis lavert to the bench and Actually, he looked pretty good there, you know, and even though he came off the bench, still played 27 minutes, had 18 points to steal, five assists, five rebounds, two threes on five of 11 shooting with six of eight from the line. I'm curious to see if they continue to like bring him in the six man role and if he can continue to look good in uh, in that role. So I'm going to keep my eye out on that situation. Joe Harris uh, was okay, 11 points, two assists, one three. Uh, Alan Crabb not doing too much. Uh, he's He's been a big disappointment this year. Uh, Karuks got the start. He got 19 points, a steal, a block, one assist, six rebounds, five of seven from downtown. That's nice. Seven to 12 from the field. D'Angelo Russell, man, dropping some dimes. 11 assists is great. 13 points. Two steals, two rebounds, uh, six of 13 from the field with one three. Jared Allen, this is uh, pr- uh, pretty disappointing. Um, only eight points in 21 minutes, didn't even have a block. This is actually really disappointing. Four rebounds. Let's hope he bounces back. Damari Carroll's been playing really well off the bench 22 points from him, four assists, five rebounds. Five of seven from three-point range. That's really nice. I don't know if I trust him, though, for fantasy um, coming off the bench, only playing like in a 20-minute role. But tonight, he played really well. And from a reality standpoint, he's a nice guy to come off the bench for them. Um, Not too much else to talk about. You know what? Dinwiddie looked good in limited minutes. He had 16 points, two steals. Five assists, two rebounds. He shot six of eight from the field. He might be sitting on the wire in a lot of leagues because he's just coming back from his injury. Neil, what do you think of the Nets, man? Yeah, such a blowout game. It's hard to take away too much from it. Um, And we know the Nets are pretty deep as well, so they can run a lot of guys in the 20 minutes um, if they don't need to press their starters. And if they do need to uh, play a competitive game, they're not shy about playing a lot of guys a lot of minutes. Um, so, yeah, Dinwiddie, I know, had a good night. Um, he's been okay this season, uh, but I'm not rushing to pick him out. It's really just Russell who's been the big, bright spot, spot I should say. And then Levert coming back. Uh, nice to see him uh, back, obviously, and seems to be just fine, the second unit. Um, and then Allen, I guess you have to hang on to because his potential is too high. And, of course, Joe Harris. <laughs> so there's a lot there, but those four and then the rest are I don't trust on a night-to-night basis. Um all right, uh, next game I have up here is Denver-San Antonio. The Spurs hang on here at home, 104-103, a much better home team than road team. Um, on the Denver side, though, Gary Harris back in the starting lineup but is just not doing anything fantasy-wise. Uh, a really down season, 27 minutes tonight, just eight points on three of nine shooting. Um, nothing else really there. Two rebounds, one assist. Did have two three-pointers, but very disappointing. Uh, their main guy, Jokic, has a pretty strong lighter, solid night. 22 points, 10 rebounds, 6 assists, 10 of 14 shooting, 2 of 2 from three-pointers. Millsap, more of a, uh, back to kind of more of a quiet night here. 5 points, 11 rebounds, 2 assists, 1 three-pointer, and a steal. Barton. Locked in uh, as a starter and starter's minutes, 32 minutes tonight. Had a decent line, but um, he's kind of dropped off from that top 50 range. He's more around the 80 to 100 range at this point, but still worth owning. Jamal Murray is, I think, the second best player here, maybe on the team and fantasy-wise as well. 25 points tonight, two rebounds, eight assists. 
six three-pointers to go along with that and a steal. Um, I love his game and fantasy stats that Malik Beasley has been playing well um, this season, but uh, just 22 minutes tonight and had a decent line, but I don't trust it on a night-to-night basis. Isaiah Thomas, um, again, uh, mid-teen minutes and not much fantasy-wise. So it's just I don't think Isaiah's going to be back this year. Um, Malik Beasley playing well, but not good enough. Um, and then Harris, I think, can be dropped. I, I can't believe I'm saying that, but that's what it looks like at this point. Yeah, really disappointing season for Gary Harris and Will Barton, two guys who I thought would be really solid this year. And, uh, you know, Gary Harris dealing with those injuries and just has never really gotten going. And I think Will Barton dealing with an injury as well earlier in the season and, uh, you know, coming back to a crowded situation. So uh, for fantasy, those guys have been uh, pretty disappointing. And uh, you you pretty much covered everything else. I'm going to jump over to San Antonio. DeMar DeRozan doing his thing, filling it up. 24 points, three steals, a block, seven assists, six rebounds, 11 of 19 from the field, two of three from the line. LaMarcus Aldridge, 22 points, nine rebounds, two assists, a three, nine of 17 from the field, three of four from the line. Derek White, you know, the shooting was not quite there, was only four of 13, but but I'm going to be optimistic here. I am very encouraged that he got 36 minutes, took 13 shots, filled it up in a couple other categories here, nine assists, three blocks, one steal, four rebounds. He was very active. This is a great sign, you guys. I think he's final might finally be ready to start rolling from that foot issue he was dealing with that derailed him uh, when he was playing so well earlier in the season. So uh, my fingers are crossed that Derek White's ready to kind of go on a run here. So let's see if that happens. Forbes didn't do too much. Seven points in 22 minutes. Uh, Neil, I picked up Jakob Pertl in a bunch of deep leagues uh, thinking, all right, finally, man. Uh, you know, uh, they got rid of Pau Gasol. Jakob Pertl's going to start. Nope, I was wrong. 18 minutes in a start. That foul trouble doesn't seem to be an issue. He only had two fouls. So I don't know, man. I think it's time to give up on Jakob Pertl. I, if if there is a guy to pick up, he will likely be my drop in a couple of my leagues. Uh, only six points for him in 18 minutes. Uh Rudy Gay with a nice bounce back here. Uh, he's kind of tapered off a little bit since moving to the bench, and this is nice to see. He's got 28 minutes tonight, had 14 points, two blocks to steal, four assists, nine rebounds. He's very active as well on the box score. Not much else to talk about. I don't trust Bellinelli, Bertans, Patty Mills can blow up here and there, but tough to trust him. Neil, what are your thoughts on the Spurs? Yeah, I guess the big um, discussion point is Portal. Um, he's had, uh, you know, over the last couple of weeks, he's around 120th. Um, uh, yeah, and one bad game here, 18 minutes, and obviously no fantasy stats to speak of. I, I'd give it one more game, um, but I wouldn't. Um, if, you, if you see someone out there who's more enticing, and I think you can go for it. I just think he is going to start um, – He's going to have a short short uh, hook on him. Uh, Pop won't play him if he's not playing well. So it's probably what happened tonight. Um, but uh, I think he can do decent stats in like 25 minutes. So maybe if he gets up there, he'll be safe. So that's my thoughts on him. Um, nice to see Rudy Gay playing well off the bench. I still own him in a few leagues and um, played 28 minutes tonight. And um, Derek White has been playing fantastic. Uh, we'll see how this shakes out next year with um, their other point guard situation um, coming back. So, anyway, that's all I got on the Spurs. Let's go to the fourth game of the evening, the Milwaukee Bucks against the Phoenix Suns I have here. The Bucks, God, Phoenix has won some big games here. Adrian, what is going on with this league? Phoenix, the worst team. Milwaukee, maybe the best or second best team in the league. And Milwaukee goes down 105-114. Um, 
Giannis played 34 minutes. Had a solid night here. 21 points, 13 rebounds, 6 assists. Not enough. Apparently 3 steals. Uh, Middleton, he really struggled tonight. 1 of 13 shooting. Just 6 points. Um, Lopez, solid night on the bench. Uh, not solid, but solid minutes. 32 minutes, 10 points, 4 rebounds. Bledsoe, um, decent night. Brogdon continuing to fill up the stats uh, sheet and playing like a... Uh, Mid-round value player, Miritich in there for just 23 minutes, which i like to see more from him. He also struggled tonight, 3 of 14 shooting, just 3 of 10 from three-point land. Um, but I'm just more flabbergasted they lost to Phoenix. What, what's in the water there in Phoenix? The teams go down there and lose. I don't know, man. And now, you know, my my Lakers don't look so <laughs> bad after losing. <laughs> um, no, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. That it's a good call. It's not like a party town, so <laughs> it's not like the players are going out and you know. So I, I don't know. Maybe just, I know the NBA I, players love golf. Maybe they're all golfing. Ah, good call. Good call. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna chalk it up to a fluke. The Bucks have been pretty good, so uh, um, probably just an outlier. I'm gonna check out what went down on the Sun side. I'm gonna start with Devin Booker, 22 points a steal, seven assists, five rebounds, two threes on eight of 18 shooting from the field, a perfect four of four from the line. Tyler Johnson, this is a decent game, 13 points, four steals is nice, four assists, four rebounds, one three on six of 13 shooting. DeAndre Ayton, now this is what I like to see, man. Come on, Ayton, double-double, 19 points, 12 rebounds, but what I really like are the three blocks that he gave you. The good field goal percentage was 8 of 13 from the field, a perfect 3 of 3 from the line. That's nice. Kelly Oubre Jr. Neil, this guy has been solid ever since he joined the Suns. If you had him, you must be jumping for joy about his trade to the Suns because it has worked out really well for him. 27 points tonight, three blocks, a steal, an assist, 13 rebounds, one three. He was 12 of 17 from the line. That's like, uh, that is going to the line a lot. Seven of 14 from the field, a great game from him. Bender got the start. I have no idea why. Only played 12 minutes and put up a goose egg, zero points. Uh, Mikel Bridges, I moved on from only nine points off the bench. You know, still got 31 minutes. So it's a shame that, um, I, I don't know, I've moved on. Jackson with a decent line here, 16 points, two blocks to steal and assist, four rebounds. Um, this is nice. Uh, he probably should be owned in most standard leagues. Uh, I was really worried about him coming off the bench, but if he's going to, um, you know, he could still have value going up against some weak second units. And uh, not much else to talk about. Nobody else that I trust on this team. Neil, what are your thoughts on the Suns? Yeah, th this is so surprising. Um, this uh, The win, as far as the fantasy line goes, uh, yeah, Aiden's been Aiden was phenomenal tonight here and uh, has been all season. Uber, like you said, since coming over the Suns, um, his uh, entire fantasy life has been rejuvenated, and he is he is like a mid round asset now. It's fantastic. Uh, Mikel Bridges, what can you say? I mean, it's it's two of six shooting. Um, he's only shooting shooting under forty percent for the season. Really frustrating. As I have him in one league and trying to figure out, do I hold on to him in my playoffs or do I let him go and try to find something better? Um, at any rate, yeah, I guess Tyler Johnson's the other story here. His percentages kind of scare me. He's shooting 40% on the season. So tonight, a good night, but I'm worried he could have other bad nights. I think he's worth the roll of the dice. Um, 90th overall the last two weeks since coming over. So he's been decent. Um, um, if you can withstand that percentage, he should be fine. All right. Uh, I think we have one more game that's completed as of this moment pelicans go into utah another surprising result uh 115 112 anthony davis did play and play 22 minutes that seems to be sort of his um limit at this point he still had 15 points 11 rebounds three assists three blocks two steals and a three-pointer 
Um, not the crazy lines we're expecting, but uh, sort of like second round line in 22 minutes. Um, Julius Randle, he's the one who's really blown up here. 30 points a night, uh, nine rebounds, five assists, two blocks, and a steal for him. Shot okay from the field, 10 to 23, but 10 to 12 from the line, so fine there. Um, Holiday, he continues to play a lot of minutes, 32 minutes a night, 30 points, two rebounds, four assists, four three-pointers, and a steal. Alfred Payton, someone I owned at one point this season and have since moved on from. I'm not sure if I'd want him back or not, but tonight is one of those nights where it was pretty decent. Ten points, four rebounds, six assists, five of seven shooting, and a steal and a block. Um, Kenrich Williams plays 34 minutes, but not uh, fantasy relevant. Darius Miller, 25 off the bench. Etwan Moore, 24. Check Diallo, someone I thought could be okay in limited minutes, but not tonight. In 17 minutes, just five points and five rebounds. So I am not really watching him anymore. Um, I don't really have much thought on this, except Davis is going to get 22 minutes. Uh, Diallo is going to be his backup. Okafor did not play tonight, um, perhaps injury. But even if not, he hasn't been worth owning. And uh, so not much thoughts here on, um, I guess, just rolling with with Davis, knowing he's now sort of a second, third-round player with this uh, – Stat line. Um, what are your thoughts on the Pelicans? I'm really happy we saw Anthony Davis play in this one. I thought he was going to miss this game. I believe he was uh, um, ruled out of this game. And then last minute, they kind of ruled them back in. So uh, nice to see him play in this game, especially during this crucial time of the year. And uh, not too much else to add. As you said, man, I don't really trust any of these fringy guys. Uh, I'm going to jump over on the Utah side and uh, going to start with Donovan Mitchell, who, uh, you know what? I, this is an ugly game. Eight of 24 from the field had six turnovers, so just crushed you tonight in nine category leagues. 19 points, two rebounds, uh, one three on two of two shooting from the, the line the bad game. A uh, Rudy Gobert, man, flirting with the 2020 game. 19 points, 19 rebounds with two blocks. A very efficient 8 of 11 shooting from the field, 3 of 4 from the line. It's a great game from him. Joe Ingles has been a little disappointing. 8 points, 7 turnovers tonight. That's ugly. 11 assists, 4 rebounds, 2 threes on 2 7 shooting from the field, 2 2 from the line. Ricky Rubio with the ugly shooting as well. One of eight for three points, two steals, eight assists, three rebounds, one three. Uh, Derek Favors with a nice game here. He had 16 points, two blocks, an assist, four rebounds. He shot six of 10 from the field, four of four from the line. They got some nice help off the bench. Crowder getting 20 points, six rebounds, one assist, one steal, one block. He shot an efficient eight of 13 from the field. Gave you a four threes as well. That's outstanding. Kyle Korver with 20 points, four rebounds, five of 11 from downtown from him, seven of 14 from the line. That is pretty good. Um, good production off the bench. Not much else to add. Neil, what are your thoughts on the Jazz? Um yeah, tough. it's been a tough season for Mitchell. Um, a couple of things just to note that, yeah, Ingles has been playing a little bit better as of late. Um, tonight, not a great night, but I did have 11 assists there and has been uh, mid-round value the last couple of weeks, last month or so. And Derek Favors continues to hang on to value. Nice to see that. Um, I was worried that if his minutes came down a bit um, as they stretched the floor with, like, Crowder and Corver, he might lose some uh, – Fantasy value, but he's still inside the top 100 on the season, so he's doing okay. Um, but not much else to add. I would not – these wings here, Crowder and Corver off the bench, are definitely great role players, but fantasy-wise, it's just too um, – it's just not consistent enough um, outside the top 50 overall – or top 150 overall. So that's all I've got, and I think that's all we've got for uh, the game so far. I think you've got a Bachelor episode to watch. And um, All yeah. right, yes. Actually – there, yeah, there is. The I know. I am right. not joking right. tonight. I know you've got Woo. one. You've got, Let's uh... see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Thanks so much for listening, supporting the show. Hit us up on Twitter. He's at Ball with Neil. 
I'm at Adrian Benjamins. I'll see you tomorrow. Neil will be back. I think there's a couple more games. Is that right? For two more games, Neil will be back, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks a lot. All right, on to the last two games of the evening. What do we got here? We've got the New York Knicks at Sacramento. The Knicks fall 108 to 115. The New York Knicks, probably the most frustrating team for me all season long in fantasy, trying to understand uh, some of their players and where there could be value. And, you know, always trying to figure out pickups. Uh, Kevin Knox at one point thought it might be worthwhile. Vonley, oh gosh, tonight was decent. Nine points, 13 rebounds, three assists, four of eight shooting. Actually, not that great. Just the rebounds. I thought he would have some defensive stats in there. Cornette, at one point, looked like he could burst out here on the scene. Dennis Smith Jr., since coming there, has been certainly worth owning uh, in points leagues and 14 team leagues, 12 point leagues, or 12 team leagues. I guess that's debatable, but. Um, they're going to give him a run, so I guess you kind of go with it and see where it would take you. Um, so he's been fun in New York. Uh, Damian Dotson, Trier, Moutier, uh, those three players as well have been worthwhile at times. Trier, in fact, had 29 points tonight, eight rebounds, shot eight of 16, three three-pointers, two steals. So phenomenal night from him, but it is so inconsistent. Uh, Mitchell Robinson, is uh, fantasy relevant, as you all probably already know and have picked up, hopefully. Uh, tonight it was a little bit um, disappointing. Four points, fouled out in 19 minutes. Did have seven rebounds and two blocks, but he has been on fire um, this last few weeks and last month overall. So uh, Jordan continues just to uh, be on the sidelines Um they're going with Cornette at center. They've gone with Lance Thomas as well. Um, and uh, Robinson continues to come off the bench. I think if he did not foul out, he would have played in the 20 minutes, 25-minute range and um, would have probably put up a much better line. That's really it. Dennis Smith Jr., trust the minutes, should be good enough. Or should I shouldn't say should. It has the potential to be good enough to be owned. It's just the percentages that it really, um, and the free throw percentage especially, that hurts some <clears throat> um, if, for eight-category leagues, um, turnovers in nine-category leagues. And then no one else really. Von Ley, I think, has the talent, and if he gets this 34-minute run would be relevant on a night-to-night basis, but we just cannot trust it, so... Have to look elsewhere. On the Sacramento side, um, of course, the uh, the big news there a few days ago or a uh, short, short while ago was the uh, terrible news about Bagley. Um, and trying to figure out how that is going to be filled. Barnes has been um, playing more, having more usage as of late. And uh, tonight, 22 points, 10 rebounds. Uh, three three pointers. So if you held on to him, I think this injury has benefited him. The Bagley injury that is. Um, Collie Stein, just twenty six minutes tonight. Has not really seen much of a change in his stat set since Bagley went out tonight. He had nine point seven rebounds, five assists, two steals. Uh, De'Aaron Fairfax and Buddy Heald have been phenomenal all year. Uh, tonight, uh, Buddy Heald was really the main. Main guy in Sacramento, 28 points, 6 rebounds, 7 assists, 9 of 18 shooting, 3 three-pointers, 2 steals, and a block. Um, Harry Harry Giles is the one player I thought might um, have a chance to emerge with uh, Bagley's absence. Tonight he was ejected, it looked like, after 22 minutes. But up until that point, he was having a pretty spectacular game here. Um well, spectacular is probably too strong of a word. But for 22 minutes, it was pretty solid. 17 points, 7 rebounds, 2 assists, 7 of 9 shooting. Um, no three-pointers, no steals, no blocks. So defensively, not much there. But the offense was there. He is someone who does not need a lot of time to be fantasy relevant. So it's worth a look. Um, he has been... Um, Shooting about 52% from the field. It's 63% from the line that 
that hurts him. Tonight he was three of four, so not so bad. Um, but he's he is averaging uh, seven. Um, let's see here. I'm going to say he's going to be averaging around 17 and seven. Uh, that's way too high. I'm saying he's going to average around 15 and seven, 15 and six um, with a block is going to be my prediction when Bagley's out. So with good field goal percentage, good uh, or not horrible free throw percentage, um, maybe a steal thrown in there as well, stealing a block, one of those each. So if that uh, works for you, consider a pickup uh, until Bagley comes back, which it looks like it's going to be um, right around St. Patrick's Day. So another um, two weeks away. All right, the last game of the night, um, Clippers, Lakers, technically on the Lakers' home floor, although same building, Clippers win 113-105. I think the Lakers, as Dan Bespris has mentioned, are tanking, and um, this um, they don't start to win soon. It won't matter if they're trying or not. They will not make the playoffs. On the Clippers' side, Gallinari continues to be Healthy and plain. Great news for Gallinari owners. 33rd on a per-game basis this season. Nine category leagues. Tonight, efficient 9 of 15 shooting. Three three-pointers. 23 points overall. Six rebounds. One assist and a block. Um, let's see. All their starters did okay. You know, I've not been a Beverly fan this season. He has been decent. Um more recently, tonight, 13 points, 9 rebounds, 4 assists, 4 of 8 shooting, 3 three-pointers, and a very um, healthy 5 steals. Phenomenal line from him. He is definitely capable of nights like this. I just thought all the injuries um, have kind of caught up to him, and maybe his defensive stats were not going to be there anymore. He's certainly not a big scorer, so has to find other ways to get done. And not a great, not known for his assists. Tonight, 4 assists, but... Uh, on the season, averaging just three and a half. So four-point guard doesn't do it there. Um, but he has been okay um, as of late. So if um, you need to stream some of those categories, like uh, steals, um, perhaps he's worth it. He's uh, Over the last month, he is 68th on a per-game basis in eight-category league. So obviously he has been doing much better over the last 12 games. Um, so it's there. Um, it's certainly not going to help you with points if you need that. Uh, right on the cusp for three pointers, but does kind of get you a boost in field goal percentage, free throw percentage, turnovers, assists, rebounds, and steals. Um, all right, a couple of the the, uh, the newer kids here. Zubac, fourteen minutes tonight. I never thought this was going to be a big thing once he came to the Clippers on the trade deadline and it's just he is stuck in the pecking order behind Harrell although he is starting he is stuck in the pecking order in terms of minutes and tonight just 14 minutes it's really hard to be fantasy relevant in that short of time uh not much to speak of seven points for rebounds not much else Shemet um been starting on the wing here but has not really been able to get going 12 points two rebounds three assists tonight three three pointers so serviceable, but not great. Um, Gilgis Alexander, 24 minutes. Um, respectable line here. 14 points, one rebound, four assists, two blocks, three of three from the line, one three-pointer. But again, we're a season too early on him. Harrell and Lou Williams still continue, continue to be two great players producing off the bench. So no changes there. Uh, Beverly, if he's still out there, like I said, 68th overall in the last month. Nine-category basis, a little bit lower in eight-category basis, probably around 75, 80. So can be streamed if um, you need a stat set. Should be fine the rest of the season as they fight for the playoff spot. Out west, uh, Lakers, LeBron plays 42 minutes, clearly not enough, 27 points, eight rebounds, six assists, an efficient nine of 18 Three-pointer, one steal, one block. Kuzma, disappointing night here. 5-15 shooting, 13 points, six rebounds, one assist. Uh, JaVale McGee gets a start. Plays just 13 minutes. I'm not seeing foul trouble. Um, it could just be he matched up with 
Zubac, he played 14 minutes, and then uh, when Zubac was out, he was out as well. Probably cannot defend um, Harrell as well as other players, so perhaps that was it. Um, so just seven points tonight for McGee, just three rebounds. Had two blocks to, I guess, somewhat salvage that really bad line. Rondo, uh, story of the night, 24 points, 10 rebounds, 12 assists, 10 of 18 shooting, four three-pointers, and a steal. He he is worth owning. Um, I don't know if he helps his team win, but he is certainly very good at um, putting up fantasy stat lines when he has a lot of minutes. And tonight he got to play 38 um, and triple-doubled. Reggie Bullock, 36 minutes, mm, not much here. Josh Hart, 30 minutes, 17 points on 6 of 11, shooting two three-pointers. Caldwell Pope, uh, Muscala have not um, done much here, 20 minutes, 15 minutes respectively. Uh, so it's just Morondo. If he's out there, he's pretty, he might have been scooped up. Lonzo Ball is expected to come back um, before the end of the season, so... I'm assuming he's going to play. I don't think the Lakers, like I said, want to win. Lonzo Ball is expected to come back here in about a week. Um, but he'll get some run, which will may he'll split time with Rondo. Um, maybe I think that's probably going to be more the case, um, depending on how uh, nicked up Ball is coming back. If he, you know, they want to just take it easy with him or not. Certainly, don't think he'll sit for tanking purposes. Um, that is it. Uh, McGee, I guess the other question mark here, should I, I open him in one league? I'm considering dropping him. Um, I'm just going to put him on my bench and perhaps continue to watch. Uh, if I find someone who is clearly better, I will um, make a move. But right now I'm going to hold on until I see something like that um, and just not start him in my rotisserie league uh, where there's a games cap. All right, uh, that's going to do it for the box score breakdown for March 4th, bleeding into here March 5th in the central time zone. Uh, thanks again for listening. We are sponsored by Hawaiian Isles Kona Coffee. You can find their wonderful coffee products at hawaiianisles.com and also on amazon.com. You can follow with me, me on Twitter at ballwithneil. Um, and then, of course, at Adrian Benjamins for my co-host. We are... Done for night, and we'll be back tomorrow. This has been a Hoop Bowl presentation.